of thing. <coughs> Mentioning that uh, other antiquarian, Kinloch. Reminds me of this. <coughs> because he, uh, he, he got this and it was uh, <coughs> five verses long. And he said about it, um, this is, a, maybe not an exact quote, this is an entirely political piece and I would not wish to interfere with it in any way. Well, one doesn't necessarily follow from the other in my book. So, uh, five verses isn't enough, is it? No, not. So, it apart and stick a few more verses in and you get this, which is the Bonnie Lass of Anglesey, which is, uh, on the face of it, a story about this local king. It's another one of these local kings in which the, you know, with which these songs are, in which these songs are ankle deep. Um, <coughs> and this particular local king has a secret, which is that anybody who can dance better than he can, can have the whole shooting match, everything. Um, some big secret. He wakes up in the morning and he looks out of the window and there's a queue of blokes down there all going, oh, King, times are wasting. And he does the one thing that a king would normally do in such circumstances. He says the magic word, which is how. And help comes along in the shape of this bonny lass of Anglesey who wants pay. And is not particularly interested in what the king's got to offer. So she makes her own deal. Danced high and he danced with love 
and he has danced the live long day. Says my feet shall be my death ere she gain the victory. He says my feet shall be my death ere this last do gain the victory. But ere it's ten o'clock of the night, he gave it all right shamefully. Saying, sweet kind sir, will you walk with me? But ere our king has gone one step, she danced his gold and his land away. She's danced off all her buckle and sword, danced off all their gold and their bright money. Back to the mountain she's away, the body last of Anglesey. Down for to dance and gain the victory. Fifteen lords and one I king and go all right. 